Welcome to Mikey the Macaw's journey to free flight. Mikey is believed to be around three years old, and on the 1st of June 2018 was the first day of the rest of his free flighted life. This absolutely stunning achievement did not happen overnight. So gather around, children, and enjoy the adventure. Mikey's humans were clueless about free flight when they adopted Mikey in October 2016. However, they found it very exciting that after one month, Mikey would fly to their arms in their bedroom. The humans had watched parrots free fly online and thought their owners must have been bird experts with decades of experience and thought this was never possible for Mikey. They just enjoyed casually harnessing him in the backyard so he could stretch his wings and enjoy some sunshine. In December 2017, Mikey's humans visited a country called New Zealand where they met a lovely group of people with many macaws that free fly. The sight of this was just beautiful and to see these birds so happy was something they wanted for Mikey. After doing research and looking into professional help, they realized this may not be possible for Mikey as he was no longer a baby and living in London, they had no easy access to large empty fields without children, dogs and trees. One day, a man named Caleb the humans met in New Zealand who had two beautiful free-flighted macaws, Marley and Kai, messaged the humans about free-flying. He saw potential in Mikey and started chatting with the humans daily on what steps they would need to take. The humans got straight to it and started with every single day indoor recall training. Being able to call him and he would come from different angles, different heights and be rewarded with a treat. After a few weeks, they moved on to larger indoor environments to strengthen his wings. A month later, the humans tried at the park. To their surprise, Mikey wouldn't move or would take a very long time to fly on command. Caleb did mention that Mikey had to be desensitized to the outdoors as there was many distractions that he would need to build the confidence to overcome. This was very frustrating for the humans, but eventually results were seen. To help Mikey be desensitized to the outdoors, the humans netted their backyard and every morning and evening they did recall with Mikey. He then got used to other birds, wind and planes. This happened every single day. Not even the weather would stop them. Back to the park they ventured with a hundred meter long line. Even when Mikey would fly off and land on the ground, the human would always call him back. Week by week, Mikey's recall was getting better and better. From human to human, to human, to perch. The humans thought it was time to let this glorious bird be free. Mikey started flying on a line with other birds and a few fellow free flyers, Monica and Richard, who taught him how to loop. That exact same day, he achieved his very first successful free flight. The humans had thought he had got it, so took him out the next day. The winds were much stronger and there was birds of prey hiding in the sky. This was not a safe option for Mikey. 
He didn't seem too comfortable flying in these conditions, so headed for a tree. He flew and flew and flew. As you can see, the bird of prey is still in the sky. Mikey spent the night in this tree due to not having the skills to fly down. Since the humans have had Mikey, he has been up multiple trees, 12 to be exact over five separate occasions and even a three hour long crow chase. Back to the basics it was for Mikey with daily backyard recall once again with park recall from human to perch and, of course, human to human. The humans would even fly him up trees to build his skill level to come back down. And, of course, playground fun just had to be done. One day they ventured out to a place called Kent to meet a beautiful macaw named Isla who free flew very well. Mikey watched Isla and was amazed on how well this bird was flying and not landing in any trees. He observed her and thought, hey, I can do that. The week after, Mikey did his first successful harness loop in his local park. The humans were thrilled. This continued again and again and again. Mikey was getting so good at looping he started venturing further. But unfortunately the line kept dragging on the grass. The humans decided to run with him to keep the line above ground. And so they ran, and they ran, and they ran. Even with running, the line still got caught on the grass and dragged Mikey down. It was time to let him free. This is the footage from his first successful free flight once again. And he's done it with an audience praising him greatly. He was so happy with himself, the next flight was even longer and greater. The human ran with him to let him know he wasn't alone. A location like this would never have been recommended by any professional free flight trainer for a first flight. It was filled with trees. It was filled with distractions. But it's what Mikey knew and he owned it like his own. And he's done it once again and there are smiles all around. Mikey was now free to walk where he wanted. Pick a flower if he wanted and of course fly where he wanted. And on every successful return he would be rewarded with cuddles and treats. Mikey grew fond of the children in the park, being trained around distractions, he absolutely loved flying as close as he could to every single child he saw. He even had his own flock of children that would fly with him. Every single evening in the park, many children would gather to fly with Mikey. And he absolutely loved every single second of it. He 
He would even stop by their schools in the morning to say hello and would get very excited when there was a sports day on so he could fly high above the hundreds of children below. Mikey was so comfortable with the children, he would even let them fly him and would always celebrate with a dance. As well as entertaining the children, Mikey would always pop by the local fitness groups in the park. He would fly circles around and around them, encouraging them to work harder and give it their all, just like he does. And when he finally discovered the playground, he realised that's where all the children are. He spent multiple days flying around with all the children, having an absolute hoot of a time. His skill level was getting so good, Mikey would even decide to fly out of sight at times. The humans would worry and run to find him, and he would fly straight back into sight with a cheeky little grin on his face and always return safely. By week three, new locations had been trialed. On his first attempt, Mikey decided to land in the middle of a football game. This wasn't the smartest thing that Mikey has ever done and at different parks, he made sure to visit every single person on his journey. He was even a VIP at parties. It was time to stop flocking with the children and start flying with real birds. Parrot playdates was Mikey's absolute favourite thing. He could now do what he was born to do. He could soar the skies, flock with other birds, and have the absolute time of his life. It may have been a long and hard four and a half months for the humans, but for Mikey, it is 60 to 80 years of happiness. This has been Mikey the Macaw's journey to 